Today we're going to be demonstrating the stretch therapy version of the hip flexor stretch. Uh, if you're going to be doing this at home, it's best to have some cushioning like a mat and also a bolster if you're a little bit tight in the hip flexors, which most of us are. My name's Allison Moody and let's get started. Two, one, let go. Inhale and then exhale, sink deeper. It so needs deep. to be, and then the back toes can curl under, and we just creep that knee back. That seems to be the easiest way to get in, and then relax the back toes. If you're more flexible and you're able to relax, you may not need the bolster. Get out of the hip flexor, it's an easier split. So um, lift up and pull the hip into square. Yeah, and now you're more hip flexor. Does that make a difference?